Peace and blessings to anyone watching this video right now. My name is Malik. And in this clip, I just want to talk about protecting your energy. That's another one of those trendy things we say, or you probably see a lot in memes, or you hear people talk about songs, whatever. But what does that really mean? Well, think about, first, I always say think of yourself as a machine. So think of yourself being the Iron Man suit, and your soul is that blue cube, that battery powering it up and letting you do all that crazy stuff that you see Iron Man doing. Think of your iPhone for a second, right? You know, you gotta feed it its fuel, you gotta charge it up. And when it's at 100%, when you start using it, depending on what you're doing, whatever action you're doing on the phone, it drains the battery, you know, at a different point, you know, uses a different amount of energy. If you're FaceTiming, if you're FaceTiming and you're playing a game at the same time, you're gonna be killing your battery. And in real life, you know, that could be if you're if you're arguing and being stressed at the same time. Like if you're coming home every day and arguing and you're stressed, you know, you're doing those two heavy energy killers at the same time that could leave you feeling drained, looking drained. That could, you know, be one of the things that lead you to getting sick because you don't have a lot of energy. So that would be something that you monitor. And that's how you would start being able to, you know, that's how you know you start to take a step to protect your energy. You're monitoring your emotions. You're monitoring, uh, you know, what you say, how much you talk, you know, what you're talking about. Uh, you're monitoring the places that you go. You're monitoring the people that you go around, the conversations that you engage in. You know, having a pointless debate in a comment section of one of these blogs is very energy draining because you'll probably be talking to someone who you feel is ignorant and they'll be talking to you who they feel you're ignorant and you guys aren't hearing each other and you're shifting all your focus you're shifting all your energy it's like you're locking on like a target you know you're locking on to this conversation and it'll leave you feeling drained because it's going nowhere you're just talking in circles so it's as simple as not doing things like that can you know change a lot for you you you'd be surprised you'd be thinking these are big major things that we have to do, but it's actually pretty simple, you know, so monitoring where you're going, you might go to a certain place and be around certain people or, you know, people who make you uncomfortable, people who have certain views or they live a certain lifestyle that's going to make you feel uncomfortable and you being forced to be around them can leave you feeling drained. You could be working a job that, you know, has you feeling uncomfortable because it's like, you know, you might want to wear nails or you might want to have a certain hairstyle or something or you might want to you know do a certain thing or there might be something holding you back there you don't like the way you're talked to the way you're treated and going there the the thought of you having to go there how much is stressing you out you know that can be draining you just the thoughts any type of bad thoughts alone the constant bad thoughts you know that's why we have to be in control of what we're thinking and understand where bad thoughts stem from and you know how to repel them how to keep them away because that can be draining so the way to start protecting your energy is to understand that all these things can be energy draining and you want to do things that give you life you know have you we, we kind of naturally say these things without really realizing what we're saying like somebody will post a picture and her friends will comment wow this picture gives me life because you you know you hopefully you genuinely like the way your friend looks and like it does something for you you want to be recreating those moments all the time you know not just hopefully staring at your friend's pictures but doing things that give you life if you like you know you like poetry or something you might go to an open mic and you know you're not doing this to be famous or nothing you're not doing this for any type of recognition whether you want to or not but you're just doing it because it just makes you happy whether it be you know those are the type of things, you know, you want to fill your meter up instead of depleting it. And you want to understand that when you deplete your meter with things like, you know, having to be enforced to be in somewhere where we don't want to be or, you know, let's say, you know, or, or having the stressing of the bills or whatever going on in life. And when those things are draining, you want to combat that by adding the things that are going to be fulfilling. So, you know. You could be stressed out, you should do a little dance. You know, take your mind off it because overthinking whatever you're stressed about is not gonna make it go away and it's not gonna magically solve your problem. So it's like, why continually to think about it? Just kind of like let it go. And 
you know, that's that's basically that's basically an intro on it. You know, I want to do another video kind of going a little more in depth, but just start monitoring anything that requires energy. Start monitoring how you spend your time. Start monitoring your emotions. Start monitoring where you go. Basically, what you really want to monitor is anything that leaves you feeling drained, anything that makes you happy. Making you happy could just be, oh, I play video games with my friends, you know, after work, you know, I chill a little bit. We hop on that, that, that PlayStation, we play for a little bit, and that just gives me life. It makes my whole work day feel like it was nothing. You, like, you know what? On Thursdays, we go to the Y, and I play basketball, and or I, we play flag football on Sundays, and that flag football game right there, you know, that just take my mind off of the whole week. You know, that's what you want to do. To, to help add back to the bar that's being depleted by these various other things. So monitor what depletes your energy bar and monitor what adds to it. And try to obviously avoid making your energy bar go lower and you wanna do a bunch of things that make it go up. Uh, this would also be something I suggest you journal. This is where, you know, everything this is why you got to deal with things holistically because it all factors in. It's all 360 and it all works in your favor. You know, you're journaling. You're going to be able to keep track of these things. So then, you know, oh, OK, you know what? This right here, this is going to leave me drained. And this right here, this is going to make me feel good. So I need to keep doing this. I need to keep talking to this person. I need to keep going to this place. I need to keep dancing. I need to keep <coughs> um or whatever it might be. I need to keep watching that movie I was watching. I need to keep doing these things. And I need to, you know, work on not having to be in these situations or dealing with these situations in the best that I can. If I'm forced to be in these situations, I need to double up on this over here. Okay, I need to I need to double up on the dancing. I need to, you know, go to that place more. I got to play two hours of video games instead of one. You know, whatever it might be, whatever works best for you, but just start thinking about protecting your energy. Cause when you're walking around drained, cause you know, if you're too stressed out, that could lead to being sick, that depletes your immune system. And stress is not the only thing that makes you drained. You know, being in, you know, um, bad situations, living, you could be living in a certain place and because of the environment that you're in, that could leave you drained. Um, you could be working, you know, all these things can be draining you. It doesn't even just have to be talking or anything physical all the time all these things can drain you any of these things can be like kryptonite so you know just take more notice of that journaling helps um if you can remember in your mind whatever works just be more mindful of that